when you opened up all those buttons with the left hand thread, when you opened up all those buttons, you took all those little maps out and you put them together and you had a map of southern England. This is because yeah. they were spies. Yeah. Those pilots that that were in the Battle of Britain, the Germans, that drove the Messerschmitt airplane, they spoke better English than the King of England. They were educated in Oxford and Cambridge and Eton. That's where they were Hitler educated them. Whereabouts were you watching them? What part of England? In in southern in southern England. Yeah, uh, my area was predominantly Wimbledon and, 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 and Brighton. Predominantly Arundel. Oh no. Do you know where yeah, Arundel yeah, yeah. is? There's a castle. Yeah. On this side of the road, on the north side of the road, is the Duke of York, I believe. And on this side there's a great big fancy castle. Yeah. Uh, a cathedral, I mean, a Catholic uh, church, cathedral. Catholic, yeah, I, I was there because that the people that own the castle are okay. Catholic. Okay, so we yeah. rode down that, that, we patrolled that area. Now, there were 200 of us, but the guys that I was in charge of, there was only 12 of us, because we were broken up into sections. And the ideal uh -huh. way, the, the, this is ideal, but that's not the way it worked. It never works ideal. But I'll tell you the ideal. This is the farmer's field. But in England, they don't have barbed wire hedges like here. In England, it's hedges, right? Hedges. So when we saw a parachute coming down, if it was a British parachute on fire, because when they shot the airplane, the Spitfire, the oil leaked back to the pilot yeah. and caught fire. Mm -hmm. And then he bailed out of his airplane. pilots. Yeah. Do you know what the guys like me were called? Assholes. But you're doing the same thing. Well we were doing what these yeah. guys, yeah. these Britishers couldn't do. Yeah. You now you understand? Yeah, yeah. But we didn't care because we were very rich. And in the British Army, anybody above the rank of major was allowed to carry arms of his choice, sidearms, right. revolvers. Under major, they had to carry an English Webley. But over the rank of major, they could carry a Luger. So we would, gun, from the German, we would take the Luger gun and sell it to an English officer. Right. Then we would take his money. This is the German. From the German. Yeah. We would take his money. Then we took his parachute and we gave it to our great English girlfriend to make underwear. Okay? Then we took the sac satchel of English clothes and we took it to Brighton and there was a tailor there, and we used to sell it to him. Okay? Have I made myself yeah. reasonably clear? Yeah. Okay? But we were called heels. Now, according to the British, they thought that the ammunition was stored in warehouses here and here and here and here and here. Not so. The ammunition in England, the ammunition in England was stored in the forests. Right. And we knew where the forests were, where, where the ammunition was stored. And when we wanted ammunition, 
when we wanted ammunition, we didn't go and knock on somebody's door. We walked up to the gate. I'll give you an ex We walked up to the gate. Listen carefully. We walked up to the gate. And the guy, the guard there with the rifle, he said, where are you going? We said, where the, we said, the English army always used the word fuck. And the English, and we would say, where the fuck do you think we're going? We're going over here to get some, uh, some grenades. And why do we need grenades? Because I'll tell you the typical uh, feeling. In, Saskat in Sustem September, like this time of the, in the year 1940, in one day they shot over 250 air German airplanes down. Right. Okay? Where the hell do you think those pilots ended up? On the ground. We took care of them. Now, the, here's the ideal way. There's the farmer's field. The yeah. road is here and here and all over, and there's the field. We take a motorcycle, and we ram, take, ram, run the motorcycle, and we ram it into the hedge here. Do you follow? Yeah. Then we know that a grenade, when it explodes, it goes like that. Yeah. And we knew the distances, and we had grenades that were marked seven second grenades and four second grenades. Right. Okay? So when this German pilot was coming down to this field, all we did was point a rifle at him. And he was smart enough to know, because these Germans were not dumb, they knew about us guys. And he would throw down his Luger. And when he hit the ground, when he hit the ground, that's when we took his buttons and we took his satchel and his German silk parachute. Okay? Yeah. And today, today, I wrote to the Canadian Army.